right, so this is the custom breaker box I'm making, and this is by far turning out to be the most complicated part of the job. As you can see, I'm not dealing with 90 degree angles. I had to design this to fit the contour of the boat. I lined the inside of the box with sheet metal, so I have the wood finish on the outside for aesthetics, and I have the uh, safety of metal on the inside uh, sprayed with uh, uh, electrical uh, resistant uh, insulating paint. If I calculated the angle right, it should be resting on that pretty level. All right, so this is where it gets a little tricky because we're not dealing with a 90 degree angle. Okay, so likewise, the uh, breaker box is not square and I had to try the best I can to shape it to the angle of the boat. And uh, it fits pretty decent. It comes out pretty level. And le level is, um, level's relative. It's all relative on, on the boat. What's level? Uh, I made this cut out it's not level if I put the level on it because the boat's on stilts and we're not necessarily level to the earth. So I made it level to what I, to appearance, what I thought was the uh, paint lines on the shell. Uh, I also made it level to what the bottom of this shell is doing, and it's really not level. I also tried to make it level to the ports. So it's really all relative. I can only find these uh, cup or connectors, so. I'm tinning them myself because we're at the 11th hour here and not enough time to go chase down tin the connectors. It's uh, not bad. It went from uh, this to this. You have a reason why you can't uh, tin them yourself. Um, I'm not renewing everything. I'm refurbishing a lot of things. This is the um, main battery to cable going from the uh, the inline main switch. So. I'm gonna just clean up this copper. I'm gonna tin it and uh, refurbish it best I can. Okay, that's perfectly good now. You know, I saw some videos that said not to use this sheathing because it can catch fire and then act as a fuse itself, just burn. But I mean, if this is catching fire, then if I don't have this sheathing, what else is catching fire? I'm wiring this thing up and it's like I go to push the connectors on and it's like god forbid I, I, I actually give any kind of force I mean this thing is just a piece of junk these fuse switches they're in so delicately that just putting the labels on I have to manipulate the wires and look at them look at them just look at them just shaking in their places. I mean, it's really pathetic. You know, I go to push the connector on, and this is what I get. I mean, just, just to push a connection on, and this is what I get. Look at this. This is a joke, it just, they just pop right out. These people here at uh, Blue Sea Systems should really be embarrassed. Uh, here's the original breaker panel, and you know, sure, is it outdated looking? Is it clunky? Is it uh, not sleek? Yes, all the above, but I mean, look at it. It's a hardier system. 
You couldn't kill this thing if you tried. Look at this chunk of copper. I mean, that's a positive bus, not this uh, nonsense. I mean, I should have just refurbished it. Uh, I should have cut out a new faceplate, maybe a nice piece of wood. Uh, and I should have just, uh, I should just reuse these. It turns out that Blue Sea Systems made them. So that's, um, this is kind of the outcome of the project. I'll take another video of it once the boat's cleaned up. As you can see, this is actually pretty clean comparatively, but this is, I guess, what a boat that's work being, when work's being done on a boat, I guess this is kind of what it looks like. So, I mean, if you do a 360, it's just kind of looks like a tornado hit. All right, folks, well, there she is. It was a long and arduous project and uh, came a long way. And um, she's ready to be taken out for her first voyage since the electrical overhaul. So we went from down here, which ultimately had a bevy of problems. Uh, rather than having to work on it and dropping the panel, which you've seen examples of earlier. Now we're way off the ground. My vision was to have a panel that I could just open up and work on it like a gentleman. It's all right there in black and white. There's a negative bus. There's the positive bus in gold. There's a junction block. So that's that. That's ultimately what it came out to. Hopefully uh, this video uh, gives you folks an idea. And you take from it the wrong as well as the right. Uh, you take from it what not to do as well as what to do. Trial and error. A lot of advice I got from forums. Uh, I was on sailboat owners.com and I was on hunterowners.com and I got a lot of good advice from those folks and uh, as always this isn't um, necessarily the right way and certainly not the only way but this was my way let's get her out there let's stretch her legs and um, let's see uh, let's see what she can do Godspeed happy sailing